All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the clock spring on a 2008 to 2012 Jeep Liberty. So, first thing I gotta do is uh, take this bottom panel off right here. It's fairly easy. Just basically pull, and it comes down. It's got snaps right here. And on this side, they just pull out. Then once you get it down, you slide this to the side, not pry them off. I seen a guy pry these off on, on YouTube and I was like, what is he doing? Anyway, this just slides to the side, it comes right out. Easy piece. Then next, I'm gonna take out the uh, airbag, which is, uh, oh, heck, no, I'm not. I'm gonna take off this little cover right here, which is pretty easy. It's three screws holding it. It's one under here. A little silver screw and then there's another one right here and one on the other side let me go ahead and get those out all right so once you get those three screws out this basically just pulls apart like that it's the top part from the bottom part they both just kind of pull apart uh, it's easier with two hands but you just there you go comes apart like that and then uh, the bottom part just comes off too like that okay once that's out of the way you have to get behind here there's a couple little openings that you uh, need to do to get to to uh, pop out the airbag. Uh, you gotta kinda turn the wheel. That's one right there. And I'll show you once I get it off how you get those open. I mean, get those to clip. I stick a screwdriver in there and kinda turn it and pops these little prongs. And I'll show you all that once I get this off. All right, so once you got the airbag popped out, it's a pain in the butt. It's these three little areas here and you got to pop these prongs off these little hooks from the back side it's probably the hardest part of the whole thing i forgot to mention always unhook the battery before you start so now i'm gonna go ahead and unplug everything i need to unplug in this airbag there's two plugs right here and, a, and I always unplug that third one because the stern wheel has to come out so these you just squeeze the sides and pull them out all right so those are out now this right here's a 13 millimeter let me go ahead and get a 13 and pull that out all right so once you got that 13 millimeter bolt out now you got to pull the steering wheel off um it's kind of hard to pull off you just got to keep yanking on it yanking on it and it'll finally come off this gear right here i know they make pullers but i have no idea i don't have one i guess they make one that goes into these little hooks and you can pull it out that way but I've always just kept yanking on it and yanking on it and it eventually comes right off. Like so. Takes a little bit, just keep yanking, yanking, yanking. It'll come off. So now that I have this off, my clock spring is right here. I gotta take off the turn signals. Just screw right here, screw on the other side. I think they're both Phillips. And this one right here, which is a torque bit. So two Phillips and a torque. And these slide out that way. You don't have to take them all the way off, but you can if you want. I usually just slide them up and out of the way. Okay, so once you get those two little screws out, they slide this way. Just basically, I'll keep that down. Slide up and out of the way. I'll just leave it right there. It's still plugged in the back. You can unplug it if you want, but I don't find it necessary. And now, I'm going to take this off. One screw right there. So in addition to the one screw right there, there's two more screws back here. It's one right there and one on the other side. Uh, down in the same location. Take both of those off, then you get this off. Alright, once you got those three screws off, this pretty much just comes straight. Oh, there's a 
three plugs under here you have to unplug. They're just plugged in right here, there, and on this side. They're pretty easy plugs. Just pinch them and pull them out. And that's, at that point, you can kind of just pull this straight out. I think I forgot. Oh, I did. I forgot a third screw back there. Oh, silly me. There's another screw. All right, so there was only three screws. You had to pull one, two, and then uh, three. And then one in the front. So anyway, so got it, and just pull it straight out. Now let's put the other one on. So the new one goes on the same way the other one came on. So I'll put this back on, and I'll put a link in the description of where I got mine from. You can order one yourself. So let me go ahead and put this on. All right, so all the... These screws are back where they go. Now I can go ahead and plug these back up. Don't be here looking quick. And it should be there. So to finish up that video, uh, I ran into a problem. The center I ordered, or clock spring I ordered, didn't have uh, the guts, the internals. It was uh, on the back side. Uh, the board was not there, and I was under the assumption that it came with the board. So I'm going to send that one back and reorder one with the rest of the components. But long story short, I put everything back together, put the old one back in, and to wait for the new one to come. Sometimes it bees like that. Thanks for watching.